Hi, I'm William, and this <coughs> is a ceramic recreation of an Aztec death whistle. It was used to terrify their enemies during war, or at least that's how the story goes. The real explanation no one knows for sure. The first excavation on a death whistle was in 1999, with a skeleton at the base of a temple dedicated to Ejecatl, the wind deity. I totally mispronounced that, I'm sorry. Thus, the explanation that this sound might be howling wind, not a human scream. This website goes on to hypothesize that it may sound like wind to act as a stand-in for ceremonies where wind might not be there, because you know how reliable wind is. Roberto Velasquez Cabrera, who dedicated his life to researching and recreating death whistles, thinks the whistle might have played a more specific role in the sacrifice of slaves. You see, during merchant banquets, when slaves were killed, a ch noise was the signal to pull the hair from the middle of the slave's head. The similarity of the two noises means that they could have been used in the same way. Or, boringly, it just sounded cool, provided way for humans to fill the world with our noise. <coughs> it makes for an interesting instrument too, especially as used by Enrico Ciappella in his piece Trio Cadenza, which is linked in the description. After all, the only reason I have this is that a company thought it was scary, hilarious, and entertaining, and my uncle thought it was cool enough to gift me. But now, I guess it's up to our society to decide how to use it.